वेलकम टू फिजिक्स मैग्नेटिज्म सेशन टू एम ऑफ टुडे सेशन इज टू स्टडी अबाउट कुलम्स लॉ इन मैग्नेटिज्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू ए मैग्नेटिक पोल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू ए मैग्नेटिक पोल नेक्स्ट विल स्टडी मैग्नेटिक पोटेंशियल देन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड फाइनली टॉक ऑन ए मैग्नेट एंड बाई कैलकुलेटिंग दिस विल फाइंड द वर्क डन एनर्जी स्टोर वाइल द बार मैग्नेट इज रोटेटेड and magnetic force between two short magnetic dipoles so we will mainly concentrate on the force and the field first let us study coulomb's law in magnetism so suppose we take two magnetic poles this is m1 pole strength this pole of strength m2 distance between center to center suppose is r then there will be a force between the two poles the force of attraction or repulsion that depends on whether the poles are like poles or unlike poles the force of attraction or repulsion between two magnetic poles is directly proportional to the product of their pole strength the force of attraction or repulsion between two magnetic poles is directly proportional to the product of their pole strength and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them that is the force is directly proportional to product of the pole strength m1 and m2 and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them that is r square so f is equal to k m1 m2 by r square where k is a constant which depends upon the material of the medium and k can be written as mu by 4 pi where mu is called the permeability of the medium where mu that is equal to mu not into mu r is the magnetic permeability of given medium mu not is called permeability of free space and mu r is called relative permeability mu not its value is 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 henry per meter and it is called magnetic permeability of free space magnetic permeability of free space mu not is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 henry per meter whereas mu r it is the ratio of mu by mu not and mu r is called relative permeability it is a dimensionless quantity or constant and for free space or air it is equal to unity if the two magnetic poles are placed in air or free space then f is equal to mu not by 4 pi m1 m2 by r square since mu relative for air is equal to 1 mu not value is 4 pi 10 power 7 so the force will be 10 to the power minus 7 into m1 m2 by r square if the distance between the two pole is 1 meter and m1 is equal to m2 is equal to unity this is unit pole the si unit of unit pole is ampere meter or weber then substituting here f is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 1 into 1 by 1 square so the force will be 10 to the power minus 7 newton we define with this the si unit of pole or unit pole that is 1 ampere meter si unit of pole strength that is 1 ampere meter is that pole which when placed in air or vacuum at a distance of 1 meter from an identical pole experiences a force of repulsion of 10 to the power minus 7 newton 